Honorable Northern Regional Minister Salifu Saed, our host. Honorable Dr. Sagre Bambaji, Deputy Minister for Food and Agriculture. Traditional and religious leaders, representatives of the ministries, district assemblies and departments, representative from USAID and other development partners, uh, representatives of the uh, private sector of sponsoring firms, uh, and not to forget dear Alberta, I don't see her, but without her nothing uh, would have been possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to be with you today in Tamale. It's my first time in Tamale, by the way, to open this 10th uh, annual pre-harvest agribusiness exhibition and conference. And I'm also very proud uh, that we are sponsoring this particular anniversary edition. And during this difficult pandemic time to which already some many of the speakers have made reference, we cannot ignore the reality which is around us. But just uh, the fact that we are all sitting here together and with all the due precautions, of course, is a sign of hope for the future that we will get all out of this together. Ladies and gentlemen, for the onset, from the onset of this crisis, the European Union has been committed to support Ghana to find effective responses to the COVID-19 crisis. This is one of the reasons why the European Union is sponsoring this specific edition. It truly, I truly believe that it was crucial to make this happen this year again. But I'm also here with you today because agriculture is a pillar of the European cooperation with Ghana. It's uh, here we cannot highlight enough its importance uh, uh, for, for everybody's livelihood, but also as an economic sector. By the way, agricultural and food processing is also in the European Union, one of our sec uh, key sectors, and that's why we also make it uh, a pillar of our cooperation all around the world. This is fully reflected in our partnership with the Ministry of Food and Agriculture in Ghana. We support agriculture with over 145 million euros through the European Union Agricultural Program in Ghana, uh, better known as UGAP, that you see here uh, advertised everywhere. While UGAP primarily focuses on the Upper West region, Certain activities, uh, including financial instruments, can benefit the five northern regions of Ghana. And all the more so since the supported value chains are common all through the northern regions. Cashew, groundnuts, mango, rice, sorghum, soybeans and vegetables. And this event offers a great opportunity to exchange ideas on how to work better together national and international entities, public and private sector for the benefit of Northern Ghana as a whole. So ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take advantage of this, uh, this forum and of a bit of your time uh, and of the presence of so many experts and practitioners of the sector to say a few words about EUGAP and its objectives. The concept behind EUGAP is very simple. We want to improve the, qualities of the quality of life of the communities who derive most of their income from agriculture. The focus is to ensure that smallholder farmers have the means to move out from subsistence and that they can develop enterprises, business, they can move up the value chain. Of course, those that are ready and willing to do so. I truly believe agriculture must be developed as a business, as a sustainable business, market oriented and taking into account the reality in the fields. And so UGAP provides a comprehensive package to increase the annual income on farmers have and uh, secure permanent jobs. And let me here mention and thank the partners that implement this program with us. Uh, of course, the government of Ghana, uh, Ministry for Food and Agriculture, the German cooperation GIZ, the International Water Management Institute, the World Bank and the French Development Agency, AFD. 
So uh, the program starts with uh, working for increased productivity and better quality products. Uh, it uh, intervenes at different level to help the uh, farmers to meet market demand, both in terms of quantity and quality. S to do so, it tries to facilitate the access to input and to irrigation infrastructure for the farmers. To give you an idea of what this program has already done, since 2017, UGAP, in its uh, component which is called MOAP and is implemented by GAZ, has trained over 35,000 farmers on good agricultural practices across the seven supported value chains, together with the districts, the private actor, actors and the regions. And at the same time, it also links farmers to off-takers. Farmer, uh, the farmers also benefit from input pre-financing, land preparation and threshing services. This program has been designed to fully complement the support that the farmer receive from other initiatives, notably uh, the governments of Ghana planting for food and jobs. Just to give another idea of the achievements, in 2019, the farmers that uh, uh, could have access to quality inputs and applied the appropriate good agricultural practices have recorded an average increase in yield of 156% uh, for those only supported by UGAP and uh, up to 178% for those that were supported by UGAP and others. Uh, so this is really impressive results that have been obtained in the first years of implementation of this program. But we want to do more. Uh, uh, starting from next year, the program will develop irrigation infrastructure. And by doing so, it will provide potential for year-round production and uh, additional source of income to the communities that will not no longer have to depend on rainfall. But ladies and gentlemen, let me give um, a hint of another very important component of this program. A key challenge for Ghanaian farmer is access to market and access to capital, to credit, and it's been mentioned already by several speakers before. So UGAP builds physical infrastructure such as feeder roads and farm trucks to connect field and irrigation sites to market. But not only. Earlier on, I spoke about quality. To move towards better standards, you need dedication and resources. And most of the time, the incentive to it is the access to new markets and better prices. It is exactly where UGAP, MOAP, supports the farmer the farmers to diversify their markets. Let me give you an example. In 2019-2020, 80 groundnut farmers have obtained organic certification and have exported 372 kilograms of organic groundnuts to Europe. Now, this may seem not much, but it was a successful tryout, a sort of pilot. Today, 300 more farmers are in the process of certification to be able to meet the buyers, the European buyers' demand for 20 tons of organic groundnut. And at the same time, linkages to other local and international organic markets are established. And we want to run a similar process with the vegetable producers so they can reach the Ghana Green Label and organic standards. But further to accessing market with quality products, improved incomes are also linked to value addition. EU GAP stands ready to support farmers with uh, an entrepreneurial vision. But to take a step forward in the value chain requires specific skills as well as access to capital. This program offers technical assistance to help entrepreneurs develop their business. And our partners have developed and are developing specific financial instruments which are tailor-made for the need of small agro-business and with a special attention to young adults uh, and women. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, to be viable in the long term, development of the agricultural sector has to be sustainable. It doesn't have to deplete the natural resources it relies on. So natural resources such as forest, 
pastures, soil and water need to be properly managed. To do this, UGAP, rich, the rich component, supports local authorities in their planning activities, promotes conservation agriculture and practices suited to smallholder agriculture. The, the purpose is to make them more resilient under climate, climatic changes condition and also to optimize the use of irrigation by re-greening the river and dams banks. So uh, apologies if I was a bit long, but I really wanted to give an idea to those presents um, of the opportunities that are provided uh, for them by this program. Because um, the cooperation programs are important, uh, um, but what, they really, what we really want to see here is to unleash the potential of the private sector. Ideally, cooperation programs are there to, to then disappear, of course, and to allow people to go ahead without them fully in line, of course, with the concept of, uh, of Ghana beyond aid. So cooperation can be the ca a catalyst, but the energy has to come from you, from farmers and manufacturers. And uh, I am comforted by the fact that um, um, speaking to the people who are here, uh, particularly to a group of women that I've had the pleasure to have uh, dinner with yesterday, some of them, the group of women who are exposing here, the challenges that they described to me were, uh, um, made, me, made me feel that uh, the yoga program is uh, going in the right direction because we are trying to address exactly the challenges that the private sector is facing to develop more. So um, let me finish by thanking the Ministry for Food and Agriculture, the Northern Regional Coordinating Council and uh, the Perseverance of AgriHouse Foundation, Agri Foundation in a collective effort to, to make this possible and make this happen. And uh, I wish everybody here very fruitful encounters, great business and inspiring discussion. And thank you for your attention.